Hey YouTube, thank you for tuning in to Kiki Live of Tea. And this video will be a relaxed hair care video on chemical burns. Yes, 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 chemical burns. Um, if you have relaxed hair or even dyed hair, tech, slacks, perm hair, then you probably had a chemical burn before. If you haven't, you are blessed, okay? <laughs> Um, I know I've had I know I've had some in my time, and thankfully for me, they have been very minor. But some people can have very major chemical burns, and hopefully, this video will help you avoid that in the future. And if you do have one right now, hopefully, the information that I give you in this video helps you to treat chemical burns. Yes. So, for those of you who don't know, let's just start from the beginning. A chemical burn in itself is a burn to the internal or external organs of the body caused by a corrosive or caustic chemical substance that is a strong acid or base. Now the question is, how do you know if you have a chemical burn from a relaxer? And you will know because um, you will have a sore on your scalp, um, it will be very sore, it would have fluid, or it would crust over and your hair would get stuck to it. Now that's typically the kind of chemical burn that I get and that's actually my signal of how I know I got it because my hair be stuck to my scalp of where the burn is. So that's one sign. Um, others are um, hair breakage, um, thinning hair, and dryness. Now relaxers can cause irritation to your scalp or dry out your scalp so i've so i've had a relaxer for about a week now a fresh relaxer um i only get them like twice a year so i stretch my relaxers out and um once i get a relaxer my hair my scalp is very dry i already had bad i already had bad damage before um but I've learned how to reduce dry scalp and dryness um, and me getting dandruff. Like right now, my scalp is kind of dry. I'm starting to get dandruff. Um, so probably next week, I will be washing my hair and definitely doing a hot oil treatment. And that's exactly why I do a hot oil treatment um, on my wash days because of my dry scalp. But since I've started adding that routine in my regimen, I don't nearly as much, like I said, get as much as much dandruff that I used to get. Um, so hot oil treatments do help a lot. So those are the signs. But like I said, a chemical burn from relax is treatable, and this is what you can do. So the first thing that I do, um, I use aloe vera gel. Or you can get fresh al aloe vera from a plant. I have both, but I had the gel first. So I just use this. I mean, it's easier and more convenient. But I got this off Amazon. If I can find it on Amazon for you guys, I will put the link to this product in the description below. So you guys can purchase it for yourself if you like. But this is organic aloe and it is cold pressed. So it's very watery compared to like the aloe you can get in like let's say Walgreens. But I literally take, ooh, ooh, I literally take just a little bit and rub it on my burn. And um, that helps a lot. And it helps loosen up the hair that may be stuck to that sore. So I do this as well as I'll put my oil mix in my scalp as well. I usually put that all over my scalp period when I get home from getting my relaxer. But definitely use this for your sores. Um, so you can use aloe vera, you can use vitamin E oil, it helps repair damaged cells. So that's why that works. Um, you can use Neosporin. Neosporin is an antibacterial cream. Or you can just use some old fashioned good old white vinegar yes vinegar um but keep in mind if you use apple cider vinegar 
you have to be careful because you have to dilute it because apple cider vinegar by itself can burn your skin if you use too much of it so do keep that in mind dilute it with some water if you choose to use that me personally i wouldn't take the risk i'll just get the white vinegar um and then lastly you can use aquaphor i put a picture right here of what aquaphor look like it's literally like vaseline or petroleum jelly so you can use any one of those items to help with your chemical burn or you can make your own concoction and mix the vitamin e oil the vinegar and the aloe vera and you can mix that together and put it on your burn as well it just depends on how bad your burn is um like i said mine is usually minor so i just use this um but there are ways to prevent a chemical burn okay and one way to prevent it um my stylist when before she even put relaxer in my hair she put a base behind my ears around my edges and all over my scalp and it's kind of like a petroleum jelly as well it helps protect your scalp and creates a barrier between your scalp and the relaxer so make sure your stylist do that in your hair okay exercise in two to three days before getting a relaxer because when you sweat it opens your pores as well as your scalp pores and it will make you burn um, also do not wash your hair a week before getting a relaxer because if you wash your hair like i do you may scratch and that's the number one thing you do not want to do before getting a relaxer i try not to scratch or comb my hair very hard at least a week before getting relaxed i know a week sounds like such a long time to remember to not scratch or comb but if you can please do try if you do do it very lightly so you're not scratching at your scalp too bad also if you have any sores in your scalp or if your scalp is irritated prior to getting a relaxer postpone 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 your relaxer okay <laughs> because you're gonna burn as well so just push that push that relax appointment out a week or two out and um you'll thank me later okay when your edges is intact and your new growth is gone <laughs> okay um last but not least do not be shy with your hairstylist let your hairstylist know when you are burning okay i know some people including myself i'm guilty of this maybe like holding it in like i'm not burning i'm not burning i want you to get my hair straight as possible straight as possible go ahead no <laughs> do not do not do that because you're risking you getting a chemical burn okay don't do that um but usually my first sign of when i'm about to start burning is when my head starts itching in a certain spot so i usually let my stylist know like i'm itching right here i'm itching right here so i'm about to burn so you might want to wrap this up <laughs> okay so be very vocal with your stylist of your discomfort when you're getting a relaxer okay um so that's pretty much it that i have for you guys as far as information on that but I do want to show you all some pictures of some chemical burns and it can you can have a chemical burn that's like a little sore or just a little bitty burn like I usually get or it can be drastic. OK, very drastic. So you do not want that. Look at these pictures and, and let it motivate you to not let this happen to you if you can help it. OK um but like i said some of my experiences is i have a little bitty burn like around my edges usually like back here from scratching or um combing my hair um but like i said i always use aloe vera gel or my oil mix if you want to know what's in my oil mix i put a card above that's listing all of the oils that i use in me and my daughter's hair one suggestion that i do recommend you do just to be on the safe side if you have thin edges like i do um just tell your stylist to leave your edges out literally leave leave your edges out um you can have them relax the back if you want that's up to you but in the past i have told my stylist to leave my edges out um and that really started to happen once i had postpartum hair shedding i'll put a card above about that video as well but my edges did grow back from that um for the most part 
but like I said in one of my other videos, I always had thin edges to begin with, which is why I'm trying to hold on to the edges that I do have, okay? And you should too. <laughs> so I hope this video has been helpful for you, what to do and what not to do. And that's it for today's video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.